Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be cooking this beautiful sirloin strip steak to perfection in my carbon steel wok. And the first rule to making a perfect steak is to pick a great steak. As you can see, this one has some nice fat marbling running through it, which will render down and melt during cooking, which will make it super tender and super juicy. And a nice fat cap. And as we know, fat means flavor. Next, I'm going to add a generous amount of salt and cracked black pepper. This is going to season it and make it extra juicy because I'm going to let the steak sit for one to two hours. Now, yes, this does draw juices out of the steak, but if you leave it long enough, the juices reabsorb back into the steak to keep it juicy. And it takes a little of the salt back with it, which helps give the inside a beefier flavor. When I was younger, my mum would sometimes cook me a steak for a treat. And seriously, these were some of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. Even when the steaks were well done, the flavors and textures were amazing. Her secret, she used a carbon steel wok. Carbon steel woks are fantastic for cooking a steak to perfection because you absolutely need a screaming hot surface to sear the steak and to create that wonderful caramelized crust that gives a steak its wonderful flavor and texture. And carbon steel woks get super hot, super fast. After an hour, my steak looks like this. You can see the change in color caused by the salt and you can tell that the texture has also changed. This is all good. My final touch before cooking is to sprinkle some garlic powder over both sides of the steak as this gives it more umami flavor and really brings out the beefy deliciousness of the meat. So now I'm ready to fry the steak. First I need to get my wok smoking hot, I mean really hot, before adding the oil. A general cooking oil like corn or vegetable will be fine. Do not use low smoking point oils like olive or sesame oil because they will burn. Allow the oil to get hot before carefully placing in the steak. Press down gently to ensure even contact and then leave it alone. After a minute, turn it over and sear the other side. After another minute or so, use tongs to pick up the steak and sear the fat cap to release all those flavors. Now I've got the steak seared, I can turn down the heat a little so we can bring the middle of the steak to the perfect temperature without burning the outside. This is much easier with a thick steak as the thin steak will cook through too quickly, leaving it dry. Now I can get my meat thermometer out. I'm going for a nice medium rare, which means I'm wanting the internal temperature of the steak to reach 130 degrees Fahrenheit. When the temperature hits 120 degrees Fahrenheit, I turn the heat off, add my butter and garlic, and baste my steak for extra buttery, garlicky flavor. Now it's time to take the steak out of the wok and put it aside to rest for 10 minutes under a sheet of foil. As it rests, the residual heat on the surface of the steak continues to cook the inside and after resting should be at the target temperature of 130 degrees and the steak will be perfectly medium rare. There you go guys, check this out. The wonderful sear, the beautiful caramelization and crust this is going to be epic. See how beautifully it cuts, and trust me, the smell is truly amazing. My mouth is watering even now whilst I'm editing the video. The fat marbling has rendered and melted, making the meat even more tender and juicy. The meat is perfectly medium rare, and as you can see, the steak is juicy, it's melt in the mouth tender, it's perfectly seasoned, and the beefy steak flavor runs all through the meat and not just on the outside. I hope you've really enjoyed this video, and if you have, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like and share this video with all your friends and family. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.